Hello there guys, welcome back to Easy Tutorials by Dave and in this video we're going to cover the different types of pointers in Excel and what they're used for. Now we'll have a look at the first one and it's here on the screen here. Now this is what you call the selector and if you want to select a cell or you want to place the cell pointer, this cell pointer here, on a particular cell you line it up with the cell you want to do and in this case I'm going to go to B come down there to number 3 and click and now notice I've selected the B3 cell B3 is displayed up here look and the shading areas are showing you that the cell pointer is on B3 and that's your selector it also it's also used for when I want to select a block I click and hold the first cell and I drag across and I come down so just like that and then I'm selecting more than one cell um, and that again is the selector it's a little square fat pointer now if I just type my name and notice that I've put an error in automatically now the next pointer I want to show you is this when you place your selector up into the formula bar notice it becomes what we call a beam now the beam is so you can go along and you can place the cursor in between the two letters or words wherever you want to correct or if you want to add something to the end of the cell you would select here and you would click it on the end and now you could put your address or whatever at the end of the text but as it happens I've misspelt my name so I place the cursor between the two V's I delete a V and then if I just look OK I'll click the tick and notice now it's selected so that's the beam the next pointer that you'll come across is the pointer now this is a pointer as in the arrow pointer and what you do with this you select the cells that you want to affect with the big fat selector and then you come up here and you point at the command you want to execute so if I want to make this bold I come up here and I click and notice now it's gone bold if I want to make it a little bit bigger I click on this and I would make it bigger if I click on this one would make it smaller and it's just literally you point to a command and then you just give it the command that you want and you just execute the command there so it is pretty much that simple if I just take that down just a bit and that's your pointer and you can select the different tabs by it as well so you can click and change the tab or you can click and end any of the commands the next pointer is this one here it's what we call the column selector now if I click that selects the entire column and if I click and hold and drag to the right notice now I'm selecting more than one column likewise if I come over here look this is what we call the row selector now if I click that's the entire row if I click and hold it down notice I'm going all the way down the row then you come here to what we call the column width adjuster now what this does this allows me to make this column wider now notice how my name is overflowing into the next column I can pick that up and I can adjust it across here and notice now I've made the column wider and that's called your column width adjuster likewise down here look if I click on here can you see this one this is the row height adjuster so if I click on that and drag it down notice now I've made the height bigger the next block that I want to show you I'm just going to do undo on this type to create that 
back this pin wrong and you'll see why in a second and i'm going to type in there m o n d a l -E. now then one second now notice i'm going to go from this little fellow here now notice it's a little fat cross can you see that now if i click and drag down this is called the fill handle notice what it does it uses number data writer data writer capital and small and if i continued it would go through my thing so we'll just leave it at that bit and it fills the series down and that's what we call the fill handle and it's that little black cross right there and that is really handy right this pointer what i'm about to show you now is you select it like so and you take your little fat cross to the edge and notice each time i go to the edge i get a little arrow with four little arrows on it can you see that now that's what we call the move tool now if i click and hold the mouse down and drag it over here to the e column and let go notice i've moved the data from here to there and i've picked it up it's called drag and drop so if i pick it up again look i can go on any corner i could go top or bottom and i click and hold and i drag it across and there you go look that's the drag and drop so it's the move tool a little pointer with four arrows now if i pick it up again as i'm going to move it watch what happens this time when i want to copy it now can you see the little plus sign that means i'm about to copy the data so i'm going to move it and how you get that is by you get the move tool and then you hold the control key down on the keyboard and as long as you keep hold the control that little plus sign stays next to the pointer and when that's on you keep hold the control you release the mouse and there you go look it's copied it in and this is really good because you could just copy blocks real quick and real easy can you see the sticky look that's the copy the next little button that i want to show you is this over here so we come over to the other side of the screen and we close our little mouse pointer on there now this is called your split screen now when you click and hold the mouse notice this big grey bar it comes down here and then you place it round about there now when i let go this you can see here is looking from one down to 12. and in this window it's looking at 13 at the moment but watch this now it's looking at the completely other end of the sheet one million forty eight thousand so i've split the screen between the two windows okay if we come down here also and we come down into this one notice this one now this is your vertical split so if i click and hold and i drag it over here to there notice now in this side i'm looking at a b and c d in this side here it's got keep your eye on it watch notice now it's x f d this is the other end the far end of the spreadsheet as well so i've split it vertically which is this side and that side right in there and i've also split it horizontally top and bottom and i can adjust where i want to put these by just clicking on the little bars and moving them accordingly and it'll allow me to do that and that's your split thing done now to remove the splits you can just put your pointer on them and double click if i double click this one here now it would remove that one if i remove that one just like that but if i add them on and i want to remove them both together if i go in the middle i'll just double click and they both disappear at the same time if i if i point at the intersection of the bars um, we can do it that way and that's your different pointers in excel and what to use for i hope you found this useful guys thank you very much for your time bye